I, I can remember three things from when I was four years old. I'm, I'm a cat, definitely, who's had a number of his nine lives. I fell in a swimming pool with gumboots on and no one else was around and I managed to pull myself out at four years old. I fell, I fell out of a car in the middle of Harting, the doors which opened forwards, I shot out of the car and it opened forwards and I managed to set light to a barn when I was four years old. <laughs> Uh, and so I, you're probably quite lucky to be speaking to me today. Ted, Miss Glue was a bit, bit fearsome. She beat me once for putting, <laughs> for putting a girl's hair in an inkwell. She still lives in South Hardy. <laughs> She's not a girl any longer. And it employed 40 men and some had full-time jobs as people who dug ditches. A rabbit catcher. There were hedgers who were full-time because, of course, they did it all by hand. There was no machinery, and now, if you want to cut a hedge, you stick a piece of machinery on the back of a tractor, and you go and cut it, and you cut many miles in a day. In the past, it was a, an enormous job. It was all done by, by sweat, sweated labour. And we, we cannot comprehend how different things are. The area has changed very slightly. Um, he does quite a lot of contract work. He probably farms approaching the same acreage as we had when I first could, in my childhood, you know, there were well over 20 people working on the farm. It's now just him. Right. It's now just him mm. and he has contractors in to help him um, at busy times and obviously at certain times of the year when you've literally got to have another bottom sitting on another tractor to take the grain away from the combine which is cutting it but fundamentally he does it all by himself so that is extraordinary isn't yeah. it? he and large pieces of machinery uh, I have a neighbor who farms an even larger farm with some seriously big equipment and he does his office work from his combine he can set the combine in the row the combine header follows the ground um, automatically. It has a camera at the edge of the combine cutting head to steer him down the row without so that you get all the, um, the grain in the combine and don't leave too much of a gap. And he could ring up people and order his next lot of diesel in to keep this thirsty monster on the go. So it's on autopilot? It is virtually on autopilot. Oh, yes. And up there is steering you as well. I can recall the Up Park Estate combining the tops of what are called Round Down and Harting Down um, in the early 1970s. I can recall their combines being up there. They again were told, come on, common land, off. They weren't, they just pulled out. They didn't reseed it. So the ground naturally recovered. And it recovered with much better, um, because they didn't plant an, invas an invasive grassland type, the, all the wildflowers came back. And now